Well, the markets have no appetite for the real risk out there for a U.S. default. Hello, my name's Dez here at Grok Trade. It's Tuesday, August 2nd, 2011, and the markets are down. We have the S&P down 0.61%, the uh, Dow down 0.46%, NASDAQ down 0.5%. So pretty stiff downward move, gap down, a little drop here. We're looking at a 60-minute spider chart. We could be trying to hammer out here a double bottom here at this moment. You know, what we need to be paying special attention to is are we going to stay above 127.66 or 127.50-ish area right here? Can we stay above that? If so, we could be putting in a double bottom and we could go higher. However we just don't look good big crash going into yesterday we tried to rally back some and now we're down yet again Let's pull in a little more data here i'm gonna draw a trend line going from here to here so there's the trend line that's where we're at right now yesterday we were heading up but that got blasted through so that's our trend line folks and if you, you could even go right here and drop it you know something like right there so in that case you have a falling wedge and you do have a bullish divergence here so there is hope for the markets which makes sense because if I go here to the S&P 500 it, we're going to gap down this morning, but there's a massive trend line waiting for us. So perhaps we'll go down, maybe go below it a bit. I'd really like to stay above 1280, come back up. And this could be a low, a bottom, before we start to rally back higher. So let's go back to the spiders and let's go to 60 minute. And let's look at resistance areas today. And I have slightly tweaked these numbers. And support. And there's no tweaking on the support numbers. Alright, there you have it. Let's see what the market's bringing us today.